Hi, Deb here, and this coming week will be Veterans Day. In the past, I have featured stars who have served in war, dolls of stars who have served in war, and then my G.I. Joes representing each branch of the U.S. military. So you might want to check those videos out. I'll try to link them in comments or description depending on how I upload this. This year I am talking about a very honored veteran in Dwight D. Eisenhower. Our, obviously he was President of the United States, but F&B issued this doll in 1987, I believe, um, in his military uniform, and I thought the other presidents were in their suits of their time period, and I got to re um, researching it, and not all the f and presidents were. I also have an f and presidents uh, video if you want to check that out. Um, uh, I looked it up, and Andrew Jackson, George Washington, and Teddy Roosevelt were the other presidents who were featured in military uniform, not presidential. And I thought, well, JFK and Harry Truman were both veterans, and they're in their presidential. I, I ponder things like this. It's just me. But I realized, both in Ike's case, Andrew Jackson and George Washington and Ted, Teddy Roosevelt, they became famous as military men first, before they were president. So I'm guessing that's the distinction. At any rate, here is my Eisenhower doll. He has the hats removable. And I don't understand it's got four, four stars and he was a five star general. So I'm a little confused on that, but they have simulated medals here. And the, the jacket is, has snaps, not Velcro. And the suit, or the uniform, is all one piece. <laughs> so you keep the jacket snapped to hide that, I guess. It comes with um, shoes and socks. And oh, on the back, it actually says Eisenhower. I don't know if you can read that or not. But... I think he's a really wonderful doll, uh, representing a fine, fine American. Okay, a little you know me, you got, now's your history lesson. I hope you don't mind. I, I just think if a doll was made of somebody, there really ought to be noted the reason why they were, they matter enough to have a doll made of them. Obviously they're, it's just the four, five P articulation. That's never a big deal to me, but I know it is to some people. Okay. Um, Dwight D. Eisenhower was born in Texas in 19, 1890, uh, but he was raised in uh, Kansas. So I think he considered, I think both states can claim him, right? He um, was a supreme commander of the, he went to West Point, he was a supreme commander of um, the Allied forces and the D-Day invasion. Um, there's an interview out on, I think it's on YouTube, of Walter Cronkite interviewing, they go back, I think they go back to Normandy. And it's really a great interview. Of course, it's Walter Cronkite, but no wonder it's a great <laughs> interview. But he really reflects on that day, and it's something you really might want to check out. He married his Mamie. I also have a doll of Mamie. Uh, he married her in 1916. Um, let's see. Became president in 1952. Um, let's, his greatest accomplishments, I think, were um, he really tried to ease the Cold War tensions, because he knew the price of war.
better than anyone. He, um, see, he used the U.S. military to enforce desegregation because he said there should never be a second-class citizen in the United States. So that's my favorite quote of his. Um, let's see. There's, there was something else I wanted to tell you, and I can't remember what it was. Well, let me cheat. Oh, he negotiated truce with Korea. <laughs> it's kind of a big thing to remember. I remember his wedding date, and I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, he had a heart attack in 1955, yet he was reelected in 1956. So that tells you how much people cared about him and respected him. He, um, he, as far as I know, he's the only president who flew Air Force One himself. Did you know that? I think that's so cool. He flew Air Force One. Um, I don't know how many presidents were licensed pilots, come to think of it. That would be an interesting little trivia to look at. Um, let's see. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, he was, um, he died in March of 1969, and he's buried at the Dwight Eisenhower Library in Abilene, Kansas. So, I'll tell you more about Mamie Eisenhower when I feature her doll. But there he is, Dwight Eisenhower. I don't know if I showed you the back, but, and it's got, I like the, <clears throat> even though it's missing a star, in my opinion, I like the uh, the embellishments. So I hope you like this. I hope you, you know, appreciate it because of Veterans Day. Veterans Day means a lot to me because everything else, <laughs> you know, of all our countries, our military is what keeps a lid on things <laughs> from going crazy. So I like to honor them once a year, at least. Um, oh, I didn't show you the rest of the back. I'll take the hat off again. I'm taking my hat off to Ike. <laughs> okay, I like Ike. That was the main uh, campaign thing. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Eisenhower F and B. 1987. Oh, and I wanted to show you the box as well. Oh. There you go. Typical, typical F&B box. And here's the end part. And inside, I was very fortunate to get the box and all for this. Inside has the tissue paper and the F&B sticker. And the Certificate of Authenticity. Oh, and a collector's registration. Probably a little late for me to send that in. But <laughs> so, the doll was made in 1987. As I said, I featured some of my other F&B presidential dolls. And it's how I'm backwards. So, I hope you like this. I hope you comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and maybe give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. So there he is, President Eisenhower. I hope you like. Until next time, toodles.